روزانہ کا سلسلہ آج جناب تھرڈ پوزیشن کا فیصلہ ہو رہا ہے کوزویز میں عارف جانگری صاحب اور بچے تیار ہیں بالکل کیا فیصلہ ہوگا آئیے سب مل کر دیکھتے ہیں عوض باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم all the viewers of Toronto 360 first I want to thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has given us this opportunity to produce Ramzan quiz quiz program and I hope that you and your family is benefiting with this program because this is only designed to help the Canadian families who are living in our GTA all, all over the Canada because I hope this is the most important program that we want to connect our youth and the families with the Islamic histories, our heroes and the scholars. I want to thanks Nangai of the Milton Quality Care Pharmacy of Mississauga, Shazad Siddiqui Law Office, Dean Associate and Minister Interior Incorporation, Muslim Association of the Milton, Ikna Relief Canada, a style and a stitch for sponsoring and supporting the Ramzan quiz quiz program because without their help is not possible for us that we are able to produce Ramzan quiz quiz program for all of our viewers and the audience so inshallah let's start the new episode so alhamdulillah summa alhamdulillah we reach out to a journey where we are in the final matches of Ramzan quiz quiz I want to thanks all the viewers of Toronto 360 first that throughout this Ramzan journey they are with me they are providing a great feedback that we produce such a fantastic programs of learning together with the families and with our youth throughout the Ramzan and I want to really thanks to bottom of my heart to uh, Arshad Bhatti Saab our chief producer that they allow us and they give us this opportunity to produce such a nice program on these channels and I want to thanks to all mothers and fathers of the participants who are participating in this Ramzan quiz quiz program because I know that they are working hard behind with their children and pushing them that learn these questions and I know some of the parents are even calling me texting me and asking me the details of some of the questions I really want to thanks the bottom of my heart all the parents all the all the brothers and sisters who are supporting this team I also want to thanks once again my sponsors who without their sponsorship is not possible that Ramzan quiz quiz program can be organized on Toronto 360 I also want to thanks the peoples who are providing the prizes money and the trophy of today's match and this final trophy to all my prize sponsors peoples as well Let's start the third place match between the Markham and the Brampton. I wish you both of, both of you best luck that inshallah today you will give the best of your answer and inshallah one of the team will win but you both are winner and you both appreciate each other in the last and you will say something about each other that you have to keep in your mind. I also want to thank Zoha throughout this Ramzan quiz quiz journey. She really helped me a lot. And I want really, I will ask uh, today as well how she experienced this journey of Ramzan quiz quiz during the Ramzan. Let's start the first round. We have two rounds. And the one round is Islamic study and history round. That's the round one. Similarly, like other matches, I will ask the two questions from each team and they have to give the answer and each questions have two points I want to start with Markham team Markham team from Maria and Zoha the first questions to you is are you ready Maria and Zoha any one of you can give the answer okay with consultation you have 15 seconds only try to start your answer within the 15 seconds so I will consider your answer. 
my first question is what is the term halal means to you what is the terms halal means your your time started now Halal basically is a term that's used by Muslims, and in Arabic it means lawful and um, permissible. And Muslims eat all the animals that are permitted by Allah, which are considered halal. Mashallah, that's the correct answer and excellent answer, Zoha and Maryam. That's you got the two numbers, a two points in the first round. My next question is to Anas and Ibrahim. Anas and Ibrahim, please listen carefully. And give the answer of this question. What is Ahmed Hussain Didat known for? What is Ahmed Hussain Didat known for? He was an Islamic scholar. He made a Islamic book called The Choice, and like he debated other people, like other um, he debated Christians and. Yeah, that's the correct answer, and uh, that's his remarkable work. Is that he is uh, inter-religious debates uh, on the public speaker and try to misconcept about the Islam, about the Islam and Christianity. He try to uh, remove those uh, misunderstanding throughout his life, and he wrote a nice book. It's called Choice. It is in the two volumes, and I, the pupils who are related to the Dawa, they should read this book. And is a wonderful book as well. So they get the two points as well. Markham team, you have four points. Ibrahim and Mariam and Yusuf and Moaz. Are you ready for the round one? Mashallah. Yeah. Yes. So in the Islamic studies and Islamic history round, my first questions to Ibrahim and Mariam to you. Listen carefully and give the answer. Take your time slowly give your answer so my question is what is the term kosher means to you what is the term kosher means to you time started now six seconds okay so so kosher is like a term commonly used by jewish people or jews and uh, the kosher law prevents people from like eating animals that have land animals that have uh, scales, shellfish, and uh, birds of prey. Mashallah, that's the excellent and the correct and the very complete answer given by Ibrahim and Maria. Excellent answer. You get the two points as usual. I see the on your faces such a beautiful smile. I always love the smile of both of you. You are amazing throughout the tournament in Ramzan quiz West. So this is the correct answer that there is a, because I just asked these questions today to the team. Why? Because they can understand the between halal and kosher difference. Yes, the halals are the one which is the way the uh, Muslims are uh, slaughtered their animal or treated their animals. And that's and where there are some permissible animals that we can eat. They are non-permissible things that we cannot eat. That's all encompasses the halal things on the other hand the koshers is the jewish as well this is also the religious things and they also permitted many things that we just like the muslims and they of uh, doing the slaughtering or treating the animal is just like us as well so that's why the muslims sometime where they not find the halal food in the throughout the world they will go for the kosher, kosher food and they is and the ulma and the fiqhs allow that they can on those places where the halal is not available they can eat the kosher food as well so that's why this question is important for us and now my next questions to yusuf and moaz in the islamic history and the islamic study my questions to you is who is hussein didad who is hussein didad so he's a South African writer and speaker of Indian descent. Mashallah, that's the correct answer and the complete answer that he is a South African router writers. He bought, he, he raised and he lived in South Africa and, uh, uh, and is a public speakers and his descendant migrated from India to the South Africa. And, uh, you know, the, in the present time, who is his famous, uh, 
uh, famous person who is following his way of working? You know anybody? No? The, who is the famous person who is following the work of Ahmad Didat? Anybody? This is, this is not the number question. Anybody give I, I know. I think I know his name. I think I know his name. Who is that? Oh, I, I don't know. I, it was... Oh, I forget. His, his is starting with Zag. His name is started with Zag. His name is started with Zag. Anybody? Anybody yeah. from Markham team? Anybody from Brampton team? Anybody can Zakir Naik? Yes, the Zakir Naik is the right... He, Zakir Naik is his famous student who is following the way the Hussain Hussain Didat is working. So now Zakir Naik is working and uh, excellent. So just this is, so you got the four, uh, two point as well. So uh, at the end of the first round, I will go with after the second round to Zoha, but let's start my second round to the Markham team. And first, first I, this time, uh, this is our reverted Muslim round. And my first questions to Anas and Ibrahim. And Ibrahim, please, can you give the answer of this question? You can take the consultancy from the Anas, but you have to give the answers, okay? So my first question to you is, who is Imam Suhaib Webb's grandfather? Who is Uma, Uma, Imam Suhaib Webb grandfather? Your time is started. Uh, he, he was a Christian minister. He was a Christian minister. That's the correct answer. And you get the two point. Is it? Uh, and now my next questions to to Maria and Zoha is: Please listen carefully and try to give the answer of this question. Who is Bilal Phillips? And what university? He found who is Bilal Phillips and what university he found time started he was a Muslim teacher and speaker that's the correct answer that he is a Muslim teachers and speaker as he's a founder of Islamic online university I will take this answer Next time, please try to give me the complete answer unless I will not consider I give you this favor. Listen carefully and give the answer. Where did Imam Sueb Web graduated from? Where did Imam Sueb Web graduated from? So he graduated from the Cairo's prestigious uh, Al Azhar University. That's the correct answer mashallah you are excellent both of you that uh, you give the correct answer mashallah that's the correct answer so he was uh, prestigious university of al hazar university he was graduated from there because after he reverted to the muslims he goes to the journey of learning and discovering the islam so he visit he, he go there al hazar and pass a full uh, programs of al Hazar University graduation and Alhamdulillah he's a very famous scholars and the Imam in the in the in, in the US and in the North America so a lot of students are following him and I say that the students who are listening to his name they should follow him as well because he is a great person he's doing a lot of good job so my next questions to Ibrahim and Maryam in the reverted Muslim round Please listen carefully and give the answer. Which TV channel does Bilal Flips appear on? Which TV channel does, does Bilal appear, Phillips appears on? Your time is started now. Peace TV, which is a 24 hour satellite channel of TV. Mashallah. Mashallah, that's the correct answer, Maryam, and you are as usual excellent. That Peace TV, which is 24-hour Islamic 
satellite TV channels that he appeared there and he gave the lectures because he produced a lot of online. As I mentioned in the Markham team mentioned to us that he is he's founded the online Islamic University. So he's appeared on TV channels and online programs lot of. Okay. So there are a lot of followers who are taking the courses. Uh, there are a lot of students throughout the world who are taking the courses from him. Mashallah, excellent. You get the four point. Let's go to the Zoha. Zoha at the end of these two rounds, where we are standing. At the end of round two, Markham and Brampton both have total points of eight. So we are at a tie. Mashallah. So we have to go again. It's called journal quiz round. Journal quiz round is the round where I can ask you the questions around anywhere. So it's a little tougher because you guys are tired. And I want to one of the winner definitely. I cannot continue this journey of asking questions. We have a limited time. So I will quickly go to the first team. And that is Anas and Ibrahim. And Ibrahim, can you give me the answer of these questions? The questions to you is, who is Sheikh Umar Suleiman? Who is Sheikh Umar Suleiman? Umar Suleiman is a, is a scholar, speaker, and civil rights leader. No, that's not the complete answer. That's not the complete answer which is I am looking here. The answer is he is an American Muslim scholar, civil rights leaders, writers and the public speakers. That's the complete answer. I want to listen from you guys and you not give me the complete answer. So my next question to Maria and Zoha to you is listen carefully and give me the answer of this question. What do you know about the mother of Umar Abdul Aziz? What do you know about Khalifa, mother of Khalifa Umar Abdul Aziz? Your time started now. His mother's name was Omi Asim, and she was the granddaughter of uh, um, Umar ibn al Khattab. Mashallah, that's the correct answer and the complete answer that his name is Ummi Assam and is, she is a granddaughter of the uh, Hazrat Umar of Farooq radiallahu ta'ala anhu and, we, and the second caliph of Islam, Qulfai Rajdeen. And he is in the second caliph of the Qulfai Rajdeen and we know that the remarkable work of uh, uh, Umar, Hazrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu and is a devoted friend and he is in the Ashra Mubashra and that's... Uh, so the mother of uh, Umar bin Abdul Aziz uh, is uh, Ummi Aisam. She, she, is, a, she is, is a granddaughter of Hazrat Umar Ta'ala. Mashallah, that's the correct answer. You get the two points in this round. My second question to this journal round and the tie round. So my question to you, listen carefully because I don't want incomplete answer. I didn't accept the incomplete answer of Markham team. So I'm not accepting any incomplete answer of, of my Brampton team as well. So my questions to you, Brampton, Yusuf, and Moaz this time. I'm asking you these questions. Listen carefully. My question is, what is the name of the institute that Sheikh Umar Suleiman founded? What is the name of the institute? That Sheikh Umar Suleiman founded. Your time started now. Yakin Institute for Islamic Research. Mashallah, that's the correct answer. He founded the Yakin Institute of Islamic Research, and that institute is doing the great job of this Ramzan. I saw that they are producing a lot of good lectures on the Sira, but they are continuously working on the Quran and a different part of the different sciences of Islamic studies. And mashallah, Sheikh Suleiman is doing the great job in the North American society where a lot of youths are the follower of him. So my next questions now, this is a very important question for you, Ibrahim and Maryam, because this is a make and break questions, right? You know that, the importance of this one. So you guys, you both have to listen carefully. 
because if you not listen carefully there is a possibility that you may you know the answer but you give the wrong answer so important is that we have to listen question carefully and give the answer of this one my questions to you is when and where was umar khalifa umar abdul aziz born when and where was umar abdul aziz was born your time is started now um umar uh, abdul aziz was born in 63 ah and he was born in 682 ad in halwan egypt mashallah that's the very complete answer ibrahim and maryam excellent excellent mashallah that's a great that umar bin abdul aziz was born in 63 after hijra 682 ad and then in the halwan there is a place in the egypt where he was born and mashallah this is the correct answer so after the third round zoha what is the result we got after the third round we have brampton knights winning with a total of 12 points and how much the markham team get the markham team got 10 points so brampton knights won with um two ahead okay mashallah that's a that's a great uh, uh, and i know that after two rounds you both are tied and in the third round i know that anas and mar ibrahim know the answer of that question but they are not able to really uh, interpret properly but that's the only thing they know this answer very well when you know that when the matches is neck to neck we have to decide sometime we have to accept something we are that's why i tell already the brampton team that if they are not giving the complete answer i will not accept their question answer as well so mashallah they did the give the complete answer so first i want to go to the zoha zoha can you tell me that how was your journey throughout this ramzan quiz quiz because you are helping me uh, helping me lot in the scoring i am talking about zoha tarik so can you please uh, zoha tarik tell elaborate yourself that how was your journey and experience throughout this ramzan quiz quiz assalamu alaikum i just want to say thank you first to toronto 360 for organizing this the ramadan quizzes has been a great opportunity for the youth to become closer to islam and um, this also brings the youth from all the communities together in a way that's friendly and fun and um not only does it promote islamic knowledge during the holy month of ramadan but it builds islamic values and dependability and positivity within our communities so overall this has been a great experience and i'm glad that i got to experience it with everyone here at toronto 360 and our wonderful wonderful teams mashallah thank you zoha this is a wonderful comments and i want first that brampton team you have to say something about the markham team so i started with ibrahim and maria ibrahim first can you tell something about the markham team um something that was okay what for one thing first markham they're always serious i see that serious face on them and that scares me which is why when we were uh, going against them it was really hard and it was really fun uh -huh. so but in the end we came out on top but it was a really good fight and i'm just really happy that we had the opportunity to go against them because they were really good opponents okay if mariam mariam it was really fun competing with markham uh, the fun thing is that Every time they gave an answer, you could see that they were so straightforward with their answers and I really felt that it was very intimidating and at the same time really fun for us. And I'm really happy that we got to go against Markham because they were really good opponents. Okay. Uh, Yusuf. So Markham was like a really competitive team. They like uh, they um they they played hard and they were like a tough, a tough team to beat, but in the end we like pulled through. But on our uh, on all it was like a good experience to play against them mashallah moaz so uh my experience in this game was that markham team is a really competitive game the uh, team they are very hard to beat and at the end we just slid past them by having two extra points and that was actually what we needed okay uh, excellent now markham team that is your turn and you have to say about something that you get the experience throughout with the Brampton team 
I want to start with the Maria. Maria, can you please? I'm not sure why you guys won this um, this round, and I think that's um, very good for you guys. And I can see that every round you guys like practiced a lot, and I can see that you guys practiced and and much you guys gave the answers every time. Mashallah. That was a good round. Excellent, Maria. Zoha, you want to say something? I think uh, we had like a good opportunity to play against them, and even though um, they did win against us. I think it was a close game and that um, it was fun for all of us. Okay, thank you. Anas? Yeah, it was a good opportunity and um, we learned more about our version three. So, yeah, it was pretty fun. Ibrahim? Uh, so, mashallah, Brampton, you guys won us and it has to be fourth place, but that's fine because Clearly, uh, you guys came out on top because you knew more of the stuff properly. So uh, you guys deserve the win and good job. Mashada, excellent feedback, excellent comments by Ibrahim. And I really see the team spirit that both teams, there's no loser than the winner, as I mentioned. We all are winners. And everybody, the, everybody gets some prizes, some cash prizes as well. So inshallah ta'ala, in the final match, you will listen that what the cash prizes I will I will still because I am getting some 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 prizes from the different team from the different sponsors so that's why I don't want to disclose on this last match of you both of you but now congratulate to Brampton team that you get the third position and I also want to congratulate uh, the Markham team that they they throughout this journey they are excellent and they are try their best to win this tournament. Jazakallah khair. Inshallah, I will meet all the viewers of Toronto 360 on the final match of between the Mississauga and the Milton. That was, I'm sure that this, the, like this today's match, where we have the tiebreakers after two rounds and we go to the extra rounds. I'm looking for the same way in the final as well, because all the teams are preparing themselves for these up to this far. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.